What's good, Sasa Venom? It's your boy, Nuts TV, back with another reaction. We're checking out Scorn Sharp Objects today. Um, this video is going to be kind of different today. We're uh, going to be breaking it down some parts of the song that I found very interesting in this one. Um, so, if you're new to the channel and you want to know a little bit about music, I'm going to try to break down certain parts that I know of in certain songs. Um, in there uh, from I'm gonna try to um, because k-pop productions is a little bit different from a typical my homage of hip-hop and R&B there's different rules when it comes down to music different rules depending on which one you're working with you feel me so I'm gonna try my best to do that um, so today um, if you're new to the channel leave a like subscribe I also check out smaller groups uh, groups you never heard of on the channel if that's something interested in you like you're interested in join in but let's get into it let's get like five likes on this video though Ooh. off the rip I always wanted to know how to do the baseline like that though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Her voice is definitely on the middle ground. It's definitely on the middle ground. All right, so y'all hear that? That, 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 that's that, um, a pregator. If you don't know what a pregator is, a music term for, um, it's kind of like a, a, um, it's like kind of like a, 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 so it's like a, a plugin that allows you to do different effects, uh, like chord effects to give spice up the chords or help you uh, change up a melody a little bit. So for example, like, like this, for example, this is an example of an appreciator. It's the and this is how it sounds without the appreciator. I'm gonna take it off of that one. Put turn that one off. This is how it sounds. See, just how it sounds so bland. Yeah. And you hear how it And then we gotta spice it up a little bit more. You feel me? You getting that both middle and that front end sound. So that's the pregator effect. If you want to know how it looks like, it looks like that. For basic plugins like Logic, um, I'm pretty sure there's different other ones out there. But yeah. But let's get back to the video though. Cause like it's different depending on what genre and how and which plugin you're using.
and this is what I like about listening to K-pop music because a lot of the music and with a lot of the lyrics and stuff like that is always designed to keep the audience interested. See, with a lot of American stuff, it's always typical. You may have like a change up on the third or fourth. Uh, there's some few producers out there that actually may change up kind of like how they do it in this, but most of it's a lot of repetitive um simple cash grab you know type things you feel me um but when it comes down to k-pop it's a lot of art and there's a lot of let's grab this 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 that's why i think uh a lot of k-pop is a lot more approachable because you have interesting beats that catches the listeners eyes and the ears and you have idols who are out there um portraying and dancing and giving off a lot of good energy that matches what the beat is giving off and appealing to the audience, you feel me? Like this part right here, when there's on that space in between right there, that's giving you a lot of atmosphere, to, atmosphere and space to do other things. Like say, like how we're about to start getting into a dialogue into this. Now we're like I said, it's, it's the beat is directing the listener where this where it's about to go, what is about to portray the next action of the video. You feel me? Now, sorry if you're saying I feel me. This this is a happen. It's a habit. Okay, it's going. She gave me a Britney Spears attitude for sure, for sure. But she definitely has her own identity as an artist. I don't know her history. I don't know. I seen somebody in the comment section talking about she had a history with Cube. Um, I don't know the details on that, so I can't really give you much uh, information on that. And I don't want to put out information that's not true, because I'm not. That's not me. But. Um, yeah, but this is the production around this song was really good, really upbeat tempo, gave you a lot of energy up front. She definitely gave you more, like I said, a Britney Spears vibe mixed with, I can't put my name on it. I can't put my name on it, but this is definitely a good quality song. I'm going to definitely give this one an A tier. Uh, hey, she's not afraid of sharp objects. <laughs> But if y'all like this video, just break down, and subscribe, and let me know what y'all want me to react to next, and tell me what y'all favorite part is. I'm out.